Why does it want to die? All right, so we uh, we're out here in this terrible like 99 degree weather, sweating our monkey balls off, uh, swapping out these plugs, dude. They're like properly knackered. Um, there's like a little bit of oil oozing down these babies too. So I got some uh, some brand new NGK uh, B powers. Yeah, I guess these are the platinum ones. Doesn't really say which is kind of weird, but we're going to stick these bad boys in here, look at the old nasty ones versus the new babies, so hopefully if this thing's missing a little bit, and that kind of sucks, so I'm going to hopefully get it to stop misfiring, um, I don't know, it's all just luck and guessing, so we're going to start pulling these plugs, putting the new ones in, alright, we got the, the, uh, the big black dingus, this thing got the big old elephant trunk off of there. It's all floppy and stuff. We got that off so we can get to the plugs on this side. I already pulled all three of them from the other side. Uh, so we're just gonna yank off these wires. Oh, uh -huh. that came off a little easier than the other ones. Uh, try and get these plugs out. Yeah, oh, that's really nasty. It's like glued with oil. It looks like Looks like a brand new like gun, and it's got weird corrosion and all sorts of gunk. These are old like motorcraft uh, plugs. I don't know if they've ever been changed, but well, with two hundred thousand miles, yeah, never being 200, changed. two hundred thousand miles and like two or three owners, someone is bound to have changed them. So yeah, well, I mean, it's it's actually this isn't the original motor. So, oh yeah. So I guess these. Uh, it looks like I'm constipated. There you go. You just gotta slowly finagle them out. Oh. It's all about the finagle of the dangle, which is directly proportional to the heat of the meat, which is inversely proportional to the heat of the moment. Oh, I can just get it with my fingers. Searching. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, that one looks pretty bad too. Not as bad as the other ones, but yeah, these are no bueno. Some no bueno Ugh. plugs. All right, last one. Then we can start putting these bad boys back in. And hopefully she starts up and makes glorious V6 noises. And probably still won't go fast, but you know. It's okay. Ugh. Oh, uh -huh. it either worked or I stripped it. It worked. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it worked. Okay. That was the better of the two. <laughs> right? Definitely the option I want to go with. I did clean out the uh, the idle air control valve and the throttle body, even though you're not supposed to clean out the throttle bodies on these like Fords because they have like a special like factory coating on them so that they don't have to ever be cleaned or ever get dirty. They but never get dirty. That, I don't know, I think it's supposed to just like reach a point where it's as dirty as it'll ever get, but I don't know. So I cleaned that up, and the uh, idle air control valve, because it was idling a little, a little cattywampus, so I took that out, sprayed it out with carb cleaner, and then licked it clean. You gotta be delicate. Yeah. Oh, what the? There's dead bugs on that. It's like insect wings. I probably just got that like from the area, like the port around it, but still. It did have a roach infestation. Yeah. Does it still have a roach? <laughs> I don't think so. There was like a whole colony of ants, and I think they moved out. Hopefully they moved out. I have, I have no clue. We forgot, we have to bug bomb this car. Yeah, we probably should. I don't know, that's gonna be a little up in the air. I haven't seen any bugs on it today, but. You're supposed to check your spark plug gap, but. We can't find our gap tool, so we're just doing it. The sketch you in. Oh, my bad. Now I'm trying to. Now I gotta find the holes again. So you get you a little bit of anesthes on there, and then you finger them in. Start out gentle. Yeah, start out real gentle, so you don't cross thread them. Oh, you know what I just realized. Well, what? Huh. Um, 
Hopefully we don't get these mixed up. It should kind of just line up. I think this is the first one. Yeah. That's the second one. I don't know. What happens if they mix? Uh, bad yeah. bad things? Yeah, hectic, yeah, hectic misfiring. <laughs> like, you would know if they were mixed up. You get premature detonation, and nobody likes to detonate prematurely. These look so much better than the old ones, they really do. This might actually fix the misfire. I would not be completely surprised. I mean, I would be a little surprised because that would mean we actually fixed something and it worked. Whoa! <laughs> Which, you know, it's kind of new for us. Dude, I'm, I'm just gonna zip tie this, like, down. Because, like, why is that so excited <laughs> to see us? It's like, hello, Thaler. Later, I'm gonna go buy a vape and a Jetta. We don't have anything against you, vapors. No, nah, dude. Vape all day, man. It's your choice. I support the vaping movement. I support gay vaping. Or gaping, as I like to call it. <laughs> gay vaping. <laughs> so is, this is an elbow deep yeah. job. This is an elbow deep kind of job. But we got the new spark plugs in. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. she mean. Oh. Uh, I'll just wait for this car. <laughs> yeah. It's all the way out there, but still. Awesome! Oh, that was a <laughs> Handbrake just whipped it around, dude. 